Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing through another amazing episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Take a second before we begin to hit the like button as I give a gigantic shout out to our patron of the day, Michael B. Michael, thank you so much for contributing on Patreon. It really means the world to me. Patrons keep the vids coming. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I really appreciate you supporting me there and um, just thank you so much. All right, everyone, let's get on to that gameplay video. Enjoy. Here we are, chapter 16. And immediately, I feel like we're taken into a very different environment once again, which is really cool. Boxes, you know what I have to do. Smash the boxes. See, you want me to go that way, but I'm over here being a rebel wondering what's behind this door. Nothing? Nothing? I feel like this door is screaming at me, but there's nothing behind that door. Okay. Security is looking pretty tight. Huh. So they know what they're up against. Somehow, I don't think it's all for us. Could be for Avalanche. Or maybe even Wu Tai. Can't be for Wu Tai. What about the ceasefire? That only it's put over. the war on pause. Rescue Aerith, remember? Yeah. We don't need more attention than what we're gonna get. Yeah. We need to be smart. Exactly. Yeah, I hear you. But my soul's screaming for payback, you know. But I'm Aerith. A time bomb, and sooner or later, I'm gonna have to blow up. But well, Aerith. We'll make it later. Good one, Cloud. Better be later then. Ooh, box remnants. Boxes that have already been smashed to bits. All right. Okay, so there's nothing over here. Good, good, good. Down this long, creepy hallway we go. Oh, take. Hey, potions. Smash. And what do we have here? A secret staircase? Interesting. Oh, don't know what to do now. Um, okay, we can definitely go this way. But now, okay, so that leads that way. Okay, so we definitely have to go down here, great. Ah, uh, to my great love, chests, benches, and vending machines. It's all the things that I love. I just, I, I, I feel so grateful that, you know, everywhere I look, my needs are being met, you know? I, I set my healthy boundaries, and then I'm I'm just treated with the boon of benches and chests and vending machines. It's just really beautiful. It's just a beautiful thing to ask, and you shall receive. You know. Boxes. Man, it's everything. It's benches, chest boxes, and vending machines. It's all the good things in life. Benches are a girl's best friend. That's what they say. They say that. They all say that. Shinra truck, isn't it? Come on. Huh? Mm. Seems like Barrett doesn't love this plan. That doesn't 
seem as sneaky as you think it is. How's it looking out there? There's not even like a tarp or blanket. Like, what? Okay. Nah. Uh, sometimes you got you ha there's this concept of suspend your disbelief, you know, to serve the story. And while there's value in that, in this case, is a little too far. Where'd you come from? Ah, uh, nowhere! We came from nowhere! Heal? heal? No healing. Triple slash! To the face! And then another triple slash! Until you're all dead. Uh, Bring it on. Barrett the idea was, was the to one. Not get noticed. Yeah. Stealth ain't my style. You it's never really planned not. to be stealthy in the first place. Don't remember. Maybe, maybe not. First day. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of these guys. Okay. Oh, no, no. Okay. Maybe we can just stop getting blown up. Let's do a little curing. On cloud. Can you stop healing? I'm just gonna triple slash you all in the face. So might as well not even try healing. That's that. That's that. Leveled up! Let's keep moving. Should be a service entrance in the back. Music is so epic. It's bombastic. There's clearly nothing there. I don't know what you were thinking, Brian. Just looking for boxes and treasure What's chests. The situation? Can't get in contact with HQ. Did they do this? No they. Idea. Yes, they did, and they're they oh, are gonna do it again. Yeah, let's do this. We're gonna triple slash you again! Triple slash for days! Unlimited triple slash! You're done. Where's this other guy here? Yeah, there you go. Excuse me. No, thank you. Ugh, there's more. The cloud could really use a little bit of healing right about now. So we're just going to go ahead with the cure. Come on. Okay, excellent. And a triple slash for all of you as well. That'll do. That'll do. And maybe Tifa can just chakra heal a little bit. And maybe Barrett can do like a focused shot. And a triple slash. Again! No such thing as too much triple slash. Oh, you fell asleep. Time to end this. It's over for you. Deep time! A little damage here, and a little damage there, and a little damage everywhere. Too late. Too late. Finish him off. You're good at this. <laughs> Told you so. You're so cute. Okay, now what? This gate? Okay. I do love me some triple slash, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Always do. Triple Slash again! It's the gift that keeps on giving. It also doesn't hurt that Cloud has the elemental fire materia equipped in his weapon, so that's helpful. Triple Slash for all of you. And Barrett, if you could come on in with a lifesaver for Tifa, that would be fabulous. Give 
circle slash again. But this time towards the human. Let's get them down. Going in. That's that. Well, they're still they're still alive. <laughs> sounds like they need another triple slash. <laughs> so it sounds like to me. Let's do this. And now we'll brave her. Worth it. I probably should have good at this. triple slashed. <laughs> Told you so. Okay. We did great. This inspirational music is making me feel very inspired. Looking for boxes and treasure chests where there are none. Um, we could probably heal up a little bit. We could probably afford such a thing. Cura. Yeah. That's good. Did we miss anything fun and exciting over here? That looks like... No. Looks like we didn't miss anything fun. Let me just quickly check for boxes and treasure chests over here. I see you, baddies, but, you know, I'm just gonna check over here real quick for treasure. Just give me a sec. Don't worry, your, your triple your triple slash is coming. Wasn't planning on it. And triple slash. Well, that didn't work. Maybe we can have some other strategy here. Start with an overcharge, then go with a lifesaver quickly. And then if Tifa can mega potion on Cloud to save his life, that would be great. There's just so much damage going out here. Okay, we need a Cura, and we need it quicker. And we got interrupted. I'd rather prefer Barret not to die. Really don't want Barret to die. But we can't we can't get interrupted here. So I think we do. Okay, let's get a cura on Barret. Nice. Okay. There's just so much going on! I got you. All right, Tifa's got some to spare. Let's do, let's do haste on Barret because Barret can then do some defensive spells and some healing. We can do better. And we're gonna do mana wall, or let's just do steel skin so we don't get interrupted. And then we can cure it. We need Cloud to focus on the over here. Yes. Cloud is the one. Oh, let's pray. Oh, quickly pray. Uh, okay, we're gonna need to cure Okay, now we can do a. What do we want to do here? Maybe a mana wall? I think I really want. Switch to Tifa here. Mm, okay, let's do the bridal strength. Okay. And we need to heal Barret quickly because he's low. We just need to focus on him one at a time. That's a big problem right now. Okay. 
We almost have a limit break, so I just want to heal Barret, keep him alive during it, and Cloud is silent. Oh, we're bound. Okay. And Tifa can limit break. Barret can cura. We're out of MP, so we're gonna ether Barret. And then we're gonna cura. And then Tifa's gonna go crazy with her limit break on Elite Trooper B. <laughs> This is under control again, finally. <laughs> okay. That was a little concerning for a second, but we're good now. Bring it home. Take it over. And triple slash! Wow, that was great. So cool. Alright. Um, now Tifa can use Blizzard on this staggered guard dog, and that'll help. Yeah, that just took it out right away. Perfect. You're up. Nice! We did it! No problem. That's that. But we do need to push. Come on. Um, we need to move. I mean, they have communications, so I feel like they told everyone. Did we get everything from this kind of area? This is where we came from, so we just need to check this wall. Oh yeah, we can run. That'll help. Is this like see-through door? Oh, that's into the next room. Okay. Pretty sure we like checked every area around here, but yeah, we got that. Okay, we should be good. All right, through these clear doors. stairs, you say. Wow, we're finally here. Can I say something crazy? While I was playing through Remake, I would check into other people's streams, and almost every single time I would pop in, they would be farther than me in the game, so I couldn't stay very long, because I didn't want anything to get you know, spoiled for me, even though I'm 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 in this game. If you didn't, if you didn't know that, how cool is that? I'm like I'm like in it. I like helped make this game. Can you believe that? I know. Um. So anytime I would like, anytime that I would see other people's streams and they were farther than me, almost every single time I popped in, they were at this part. They were in this building, and now. I'm in this building. How cool is that? I'm just very excited to be here. That's all. I'm just very excited. That's it. <laughs> um, look how pretty it is. It's like you can see yourself being in a corporate building just like this. <laughs> The only problems I will say is that you can't sit on this bench. I consider that a huge offense. Nobody's home. Yeah. Do you have any idea where they might be holding Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. That'd make the most sense. And where is that?
Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. <sighs> Maybe! Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. This building's incredible. Huh. A shining monument to corporate greed. One of these days I'm gonna tear it down and burn the rubble. But not today. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine? Can you can you imagine living in the slums your entire life? And then walking into this building and going, oh. This is where everything has gone. It has been taken by this one company, this one corporation has taken everything from us. We have worked to power this system and we live in the slums. I'd be like Barrett in this moment. I would be pissed. Just wreck it. Just wreck it all. That'd be me. Take? I had a feeling there was a take here. Got some phones. It's nice. Some nice plants. That's nice. I don't know about you, but I don't think we should try touching it. Shit. Making life hard. Let's just keep heading up. Let's just keep heading up, like, I don't know, the stairs? Take so the stairs? How do we get Either the elevator or the emergency stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? I vote we take the elevator. I just love exploring because I'm here now. Look at this motorcycle. It's so cool. It's a pretty cool motorcycle. Got a nice little plaque and a nice little cafeteria. Nice little office. Yeah! Mess these chairs up. Show them who's boss, Barrett. This is their corporate greed. This is your payback. Your great revenge. Destroy the chairs. Every last chair will be upturned. Every last chair, I said. All right. Oh, every last chair. <laughs> we gotta get one more table. All right. Oh no, there's one more. Okay, 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 okay. There, we got him. All right. Okay, we ran too fast. Yeah, Tifa, stick it to the man. All right. Look at their corporate greed now. What did it get you? Um, I don't know what the right thing to do is here. We have door number U, which looks like it leads to the elevators. And door number U, which looks like maybe also Elevators? What? Let's look at our map here. Emergency exit, elevator hall, exhibition hall. Well, I want to check out the exhibition hall. Let's see what's in there. Look at the wreckage. They deserve it. Okay, no exhibition hall for us. So we can either check out the elevators or the stairs. I think when you're doing a stealthy infiltration, you should never take the elevator. Well, we don't have any key cards. That seems like it's gonna continue to be a problem because no getting upstairs without a key card, huh? I think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Oh, 
The reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? From above. Go up and over, maybe? Look. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. I don't know. Yeah, Barrett doesn't like that idea. I think I'll give it a shot. Huh? As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. <sighs> Leave it to Tifa to do all the hard work. Okay, guys. Wish me luck. You be careful. <sighs> you don't need Aren't luck, I always... Tifa. We get to explore this area. Sweet as Tifa. Even sweeter. What is there to see and do here? We got some machinery. Yeah, Shinra machinery. Recycling and trash cans. Yeah, cool. Some gears. Neato, I guess. Some cool. Aha! Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it. Take. <gasps> Dang! 200 gil? 2,000 gil? Take. Okay, anything else fun going on here? Another motorcycle, some more machinery. And that's just about all the interesting stuff in here, I think. Although we didn't check this little nook and cranny. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I think we're good. Okay. Up the car, I suppose. Uh-huh. And why? <laughs> what is this? What, what is the goal here? <laughs> what? Ah, okay. Up here. And then here. And here. And here. And here. To this ladder. Great. Hand over hand, huh? That's fine. Bring it on. Um, but get down. What's over here? Nothing? Okay. And we're just gonna dance around to this little jaunty tune. Because this is just odd. What is in there? Well, we're going back. Listen, if it's a yellow chest, it's like whatever. But it wasn't yellow, it's purple. And that means I have to get it. It's just, it's necessary. This is kind of clunky. Ugh. And slow. It's fine to do it once, but then when you have to go back because you saw this chest and then you gotta do it again, it's a little different. Okay, and then I'm guessing we're gonna hop down and then come over here and then go over there. Great. Just great. Get down. Mm -hmm. What is in this chest? Please, something good. Purple pain. In fact, a pair of purple pain. Listen, you know I love purple. 
And it looks like that's a very balanced weapon from the start, which I love. I love a good, you know, even magic to physical damage, which is pretty exciting. And it's also, this one is mostly physical, so it'll be a good balance. Leather gloves made from the hide of a ferocious beast. This is gonna sound weird, but that shade, that color, actually reminds me of Final Fantasy XV. I, I can envision the monster in my head because I made a thumbnail of it when I recorded my playthrough of Final Fantasy XV. I think it, I think that monster was Behemoth in 15. I don't know what it is here, but that's kind of cool. Um, strike a staggered enemy. Deliver a tremendous blow at close range. Increase stagger damage bonus. True strike. Okay. Let's level it up and put it on. While we listen to this futuristic music. Oh, I love adding HP to Tifa because she is so weak with HP. Um, love the idea of giving her crit bonus and speed, I love for her. Attack damage boost, unbridled strength damage boost, concentration activation, critical hit rate, with low HP, low HP, new materia slot, okay. Attack power, magic attack power, HP, HP, speed, crit. So it's interesting, it, it's almost like the potential builds for this weapon could go one of two ways. It could be a very high crit weapon or it could be a very high defensive weapon for Tifa. So if your Tifa keeps dying over and over and over again, you can rebuild this weapon to give her a bunch of HP as well as some um, some defense, which is pretty cool. Because this one has a lot of physical defense and magic defense with low HP. Um, we love Unbridled Strength. We use that a lot with Tifa. Um, and we like concentration activation, so we'll go ahead. We have a lot to spend, so we're not gonna be too choosy yet. Um, let's do Unbridled Strength, we love that. Limit Break Boost with low HP, new Materia slot. Oh, that new, new, new Materia slot is good because it adds an actual new Materia slot. Attack damage, 5% boost. This is skill points 12. I keep forgetting how to go to my course. 10, 14, and 12. Okay, let's spend some of the 10s here. Let's do crit 10% boost for sure. Cause that's all the time. Yep, for sure. Love that. Love that, 96, good. I don't love any of the low HP stuff, I really don't. So let's go to our next core. New Materia slot I think is what I like. And then I do like the attack damage 5% boost. Cause then when I'm not fighting with Tifa, she still just does a lot more damage. So I like that, I think we'll get that. Then we'll come on over here to our 14s and we have, I don't know how to do math. So, you know, like four of these just then, I don't know, four? I don't know. Um, weapon ability critical hit rate 10% boost, I like that. Critical hit damage 10% boost, I like that even more. So I think we'll for sure get the critical hit damage 10% boost. And I like speed, I like HP, but I like even more just that permanent upgrade to the attack power, magic and physical. Okay. So we can get two more here. Don't need any more materia. Weapon ability, critical hit rate. So this is kind of the only thing that confuses me with this. The weapon ability, critical hit rate, 10% boost, 
Increases probability of landing a critical hit with an ability. Now, is it only with true strike? Like if you have these, this, these weapons equipped, do you only get that potential 10% boost when you use true strike or when you use any of your weapon abilities from any of the weapons? That's what I don't know. Um, I'm not asking chat though. So we have two, we can go. Critical hit, speed or HP. I think of all of them, we want HP and speed. Because then we'll have a lot of ATB to spend. I like it. I'm happy with those choices. Okay, so let's equip them. Um, it looks like we have some upgrades to do on the Buster Sword as well. Let's see, where, where do we want to spend these? We've got 15 to spend. So we can only do one. Defense, magic defense. Attack power plus eight. Magic attack power plus 16, that's good. Um, or limit break damage. I just don't limit break with him a ton. I just don't. MP would be good because we are always running out of MP. But I, I love boosting that attack, or that, yeah, attack power permanently. Ooh. I love seeing that number. Let's go with MP though. Because we are constantly running out of MP with him. Okay, and then that's good. Barret, we can do a little upgrade here. Yeah, let's keep that. Let's do a little Barret upgrade in here. We got 23 to spend. Physical damage reduction, demon resistance. Magic attack power with high HP. I also wonder what is high HP? Like what constitutes high HP? Um, I love adding attack power to him because he's, he's missing some for sure. Okay, let's give him some attack power. Yeah, and then we have 11 to spend. We can't do any of those. Um, we're gonna leave that there. And then Aerith, let's upgrade the Mithril Rod. <laughs> Look at that magic attack power, it's beautiful. Um, okay. Limit break boost with low HP, defense with high HP, or new materia slot. I don't hate the idea of a new materia slot or physical defense with high HP. I don't hate that idea at all. If we do materia, we could give her like a magic up materia or an MP up materia. So let's do a materia slot. Oh, but we don't have enough. Okay. Well, never mind then. We'll just wait and get that extra SP. Okay, great. I am so happy we got that. And now Tifa has purple hands. And we love that too. Wait, they didn't change. She's still wearing her Sonic Strikers. We didn't actually equip them. Of course we didn't. <laughs> okay, and ooh, it actually looks like we have to sacrifice one of our materials. Okay, we want HP absorption. Oh, see, why do we even have parry linked to this when we never ever use parry? We're getting rid of that. Goodbye. AP up and luck up, great. 
Auto cure, love for her. Revival, great. I love time ice chakra, okay. So then when we switch to purple pain, we re-slot, then we have HP absorption. So let's give her fire ice lightning, wind poison, enemy skill, deadly dodge, and parry. So we, she has ice, so let's put ice in there. So every time she uses ice, she'll regain HP. I just need to like remember that, remember that, remember that. Oh, but then there's no point because we don't have another linked slot. So let's swap this to something else. Um, luck up, auto cure, we wanna keep that. We've gotta put revival back in there. Okay. Revival materia, and then what else do we wanna put in there? We've, we've been using poison a little bit. Magic up wouldn't be too bad. Or, you know what? We're doing first strike. We love that. We love first strike for her. All right, now she's got purple hands. Good. Great. All right, now back up the ladder through this very tedious process. This is from the trailer too, I feel like, her doing this climbing thing. Okay. Anything else I need to see while I'm up here? I feel like the weapons were like a pretty important thing. Okay, over and over. And then it looks like we wanna somehow get ourselves to this. And here, we're almost there. Yep, right there. And drop down. And Pick back up. This is so tedious. <laughs> and over one more and back across here. And down. Okay, anything else that we're missing? No. And back up. This isn't so bad. Tifa. Pretty close now. It is. Just need to make it over there. It is though. What? I've run out of monkey bars here. <laughs> what the heck am I supposed to do? Over there? Oh, this is even more tedious. Get down here and then cross across here. And then get up here. Yes, okay. And then across here. And then across here. And then up another ladder, it looks like. Oh boy. Okay, another ladder. I just want to get to the good stuff. Almost there. Just need to get across those platforms. I hear you, Tifa, but my goodness. Okay, and around. And see, the thing about this is you're kind of just like pressing forward on the stick. You're not like doing anything. You're not jumping yourself. So if she falls again, I'm gonna be like, this is all, this is all on purpose. I feel like there's no like actual player skill involved and it feels weird. Okay, now you gotta grab the pendant, Tifa. Good job. Now do I actually swing back and forth or? What? 
Oh, this is like increasing her momentum. Okay. All right. There, we made it. We got our key card. That's some fine work. I might be able to disable security from here. Huh? Hot damn, girl. I I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. Mm, that's a danger so you can sign, use Barrett. That to look up what floor the research facility's on. I think so. Give me a sec. <sighs> Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor looks like. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is then. Mm -hmm. Right. To the 59th floor we go! And right there is where today's episode will draw to a close. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you loved this episode. There were some fabulous moments in it, as there have been throughout this entire playthrough. I mean, this game just has little bursts of amazing things scattered all throughout it, and it's such a joy to play, such a joy to experience, and such a joy to share. So thank you for all of your part in that. Thank you for being the amazing community that you are. I'm just feeling very, very, very grateful right now. Um, so please do remember to leave me a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too, and of course, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. Alright, that's all. I love you all very much.